onboarding. After the installation, you have to set up your default settings. Only use bridges if your service provider or country block Tor. If that's not the case, please select Connect to Tor. The app will let you know when it's connected to the Tor network. Click on Next to set up your security level. There are three different levels of security you can pick from according to your needs. But usually, level 2 is the best choice. Click on Learn More to see more details about each option. Tap Start Browsing to begin using the Onion Browser. The Onion Browser Homepage On the homepage of the Onion Browser, you will see a couple of website suggestions, as well as more information about the app. If you want to support our work, use the donate link to see the ways you can contribute with a donation. You can also subscribe to the Tor newsletter to get updates from the Tor team. On the home page, you'll see there are two icons that you don't find in other browsers, a shield on the top left side and an onion on the top right side. We'll discuss this in a bit. The Onion Browser also includes features you'll recognize like bookmarks, share, new tab, switch tabs, and accessing settings. These are common in other browsers and work in the same manner here. Visiting websites. HTTPS websites will show a green lock on the right side of the URL bar. Tap on it to verify the certificate information. Tap on the shield icon to see your current security level. Tap on the onion icon to see the Tor circuit you're using. Sometimes your current circuit will be too slow or it will not work properly. For those cases, use the new circuit button and you will be automatically connected to a new one. On this drop-down menu, you will also find the option to connect to Tor using bridges. Please remember that you should always try to connect to Tor without bridges and only use them if that fails. We'll talk more about bridges later. The share icon allows you to send a link to the website you are looking at using other apps in your device. It also allows you to open the link using Safari, in case the site is not opening properly using Tor. This, however, will be out of the Tor network. The same applies to opening images and links with Safari. But you can also open links safely on a new tab and navigate them the same way you will do it on any other browser. If your screen times out or you send the browser to the background, all your current tabs will disappear when you return to your browser. This is a security feature that can be changed in your settings. Bridges there's a special way to connect to the Tor network designed for users in the most restrictive geographies or users personally at risk of invasive monitoring. Bridges are like special on-ramps for Tor that are more aggressive about defeating monitoring. That comes at a cost in performance though. We like to reserve these pathways for most impacted users, so please use them sparingly. If you know bad actors are monitoring Tor usage in your geography, you need to be careful how you get your bridges information. You have several options. See the bridge configuration settings. Access by tapping on the onion icon when viewing a website and then tapping bridge configuration. Your first option should be the list of bridges using the so-called OBFS4 technology a list already built into Onion Browser. Select the built-in OBFS4 option and Onion Browser will instruct Tor to use that selection of bridges as it attempts to connect. Tap Connect. Unfortunately, the bridges on that list can become crowded and connection might fail. If you know a trustworthy person who uses a bridge to connect to Tor, 
Your second option is to have your friend help you by sending you a bridge QR code your device can scan and automatically configure to use that bridge. Or, less securely, you can copy paste a bridge identifier that your friend sends you via another service, messaging, for example. To use this option, tap custom bridges and then either scan the provided QR code or paste your provided bridge into the text areas shown. Then tap connect. If this option fails, you can get access to a fresh selection of OVFS4 bridges using the service called Moat to get up-to-date information in real time. This option works in a way that does not expose itself to suspicion. To use this option, select built-in MIG Assure and tap Connect. Last, the Tor project itself also maintains a list of bridges. For this option, tap Custom Bridges and follow the instructions there. You'll get a bridge identifier and you'll paste it into the text area, same as you would if a friend provided it to you. After pasting, tap Connect. Note that this method of contacting the Tor project to get a bridge identifier is an action that itself might be blocked. Again, we want to steer you away from using bridges. The degradation of the user experience can be extreme, and please remember that there are people who actually require this capability to get any connection at all. As capacity is limited, we want to give those people the first opportunity.